strength and cardio training outside on the street and sparring sessions inside the ring. Pittsburgh's Third Avenue gym is alive with hope. If you belong here, you belong to something special. All year long, seven days a week, even Christmas Day. Uh, I like sparring, I like working out, running outside of the mouth, you know what I mean? When I get in the ring, it's just like fun. Volunteer coaches provide young people stability. See, see where I can put anger in different places, you know? I could put anger into the gym. Here at the home of Team 412, you'll find academic tutors and a food bank. Uh, once a week, we send all of our kids home with a big box of food from our food bank. Um, so, you know, when they do tell you that, you know, they, if they say family, they mean family. And that's kind of how we look at it. 16 year old national champion and Olympic hopeful Michael Spoonie James found success after trusting Coach Hoy. I feel much more comfortable with speaking to him and coming here uh, and expressing my feelings. Delbert Sonny Taylor dreams of Olympic gold as well, but this two-time national champ is fighting for another goal. I definitely want to get more into the Air Force and growing and developing my career as an American citizen, just, just to serve the country that has given so much to me. 13-year-old Gia Fultz is a straight-A student who coach says could win nationals this year. I like how challenging it is, like it's not something that's just really easy, like it helps you like mentally and physically, like it pushes you for like all of your goals, so you always have something to look forward to. All these boxers building skills to win in life. Boxing made me mature up a lot, rather than just being like your run of the mouth kid doing all that stuff, but yeah, it really matured me and kept, kept my hair straight and everything, it just keeps me going every day and makes me happy. Those efforts, deeply gratifying for the guy cheering them all on. And then there are days when I come here and I, it feels like God is working through my hands. And, and I actually, actually can feel that, that inspiration. And I feel like I've got the best gig in the world. Coach Jim tells us that not every kid is there to fight, but every kid there wants to be part of something really super special. A safe place, he says, with positive vibes. While he says they've got some great fighters there, they just want to appeal to great kids who want to belong to something even greater. That was a great story, Mike, and I feel like I'm cheering them on now. Yeah, me too. Amazing.